guys welcome back to another video and thank you for tuning in i hope you guys have been enjoying the amg content the ml55 here so far we've been pumping out a lot of videos on this car and hopefully you guys are enjoying the content in this video i want to show you guys modifications i've already done to the car in terms of interior and exterior nothing too crazy at the moment but some tasteful mods and if you guys are actually interested in these mods and you want to do them to whatever mercedes you have this will work as well let me get a few cinematics of the car and we'll hop into it real quick Alright, so first thing, which is the obvious thing here, are the grills. Yes, we do have black grills on here. Uh, I think they look awesome. I think they look fantastic. Uh, it gives it more of an OEM Plus look. Um, if not, more of an aggressive look here. But I really like how the black grills look on the silver Mercedes. Uh, if you guys have seen the CLK, obviously I do have black grills and they look fantastic. So I decided to actually go with these. So that's the grill love how it looks on here second thing on the car the center caps the mercedes center caps actually were pretty worn out and i decided to get these uh center caps on the uh stock wheels and they actually look pretty good here not too bad they just say amg on them instead of the uh mercedes logo on them obviously these are the stock wheels so i figured i might as well just rock that on there these wheels are definitely not going to stay for too long <laughs> You guys already know i can't i have to upgrade the wheels on here i can't do stock wheels to be honest as you guys can tell i've got the batches blacked out uh they look fantastic i mean you can't go wrong with it especially it matching the uh front grill as well so for the badges i actually didn't buy new badges if you want to buy badges you can go that route i decided to go with plasti plasti dip uh, plastic dip is actually not bad at all when you use it on on badges because if you were to do anything wrong you can always peel it off also blacked out this right here blacked this out also uh, you guys already know the uh, amg uh, license plate uh, matches perfectly with everything you guys saw that i did that so oh i almost forgot i don't know if you can tell on camera i'm pretty sure you can but I went pretty light on it, but the tail lights, check it out. It looks a little dark. Uh, that's because I use, um, what is it called? I think it's called lens tint. You can buy it off of uh, O'Reilly. Uh, pretty much what I did was I put like about two light coats on there, not to make it drastically dark, because I feel like if I make it drastically dark, it, it's just a little too aggressive on this kind of body style or this kind of car. So. I went with um, just a light coat on it. All these uh, exterior mods, they're very, very light and nothing too crazy. They're not expensive at all. That's pretty much it for the exterior. Now, moving on to the interior, I want to show you guys here real quick. I don't know if you guys notice it, but this right here, this feels really good whenever I put on the seatbelt. It's got the AMG logo on it and whenever i put it on it just feels great like it, it feels really comfortable it's, it's leather as well so it's pretty good material uh, i might as well probably get them for the rear seats as well but i think it looks fantastic I, I mean these these are nice the last thing i believe yeah this is definitely going to be the last thing so check it out here the ship knob isn't that pretty cool if you guys do follow me on instagram you guys might have seen i did post this on my instagram it's got the AMG logo on it. There we go. Uh, the stock one just had the Mercedes symbol on it and it feels pretty good actually. It's it's kind of um, boxy, but it feels really good whenever, you know, I use the uh, shift knob here. But I, th I thought this was a good touch to add to the AMG. Yeah, not bad at all. I also added this steering wheel on here. It's got a nice touch look to it. 
to be honest when i first drove this car i i loved how the steering wheel felt it felt skinny and i decided to get this just nicer look on the steering wheel and when i had put this on it felt a little too thick but i've gotten used to it now i told myself i'll probably get used to it and i mean after a week i was like okay maybe i do not like this so i took it off and <laughs> after taking it off i gotta say i had to go back it, it didn't feel natural anymore uh it just felt really thin so i put this back on and i like it uh, i just had I just had to get used to it. Those stock wheels need gone. So we're probably gonna get rid of them and get some aftermarket wheels on here. I'm gonna close it out here, guys. If you guys are really enjoying the content, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe as well. Join the family, join the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.